to a Fox Business Alert now. The Chipotle. More trouble for Chipotle. A health alert now. Chipotle, the popular Mexican restaurant. Health officials are investigating an E. coli outbreak. This truly is a crisis. From the American Light and Bishop Kelly, it's cereal. You know, like Captain Crunch, Frosted Flakes. Well, never mind, anyways. One story told week by week. Lately, me and my team have been on an investigation to see the cause of these E. coli outbreaks in Chipotle's nationwide. More specifically, Chipotle's in the Boise area. My name is Scott Ketlinski, and this is Breakfast. Oh, wait, no, never mind. This is cereal. Alexander Michael Taylor, Bishop Kelly High School. Hey Alex, so we're doing a documentary reporting on E. coli outbreaks throughout Chipotle's, more specifically Chipotle's in Boise, Idaho, and we're just kind of interviewing people to see how they really felt after they consumed a Chipotle burrito. So, uh, the past 12 times in Chipotle, like three out of the four, I've just felt absolutely terrible. So, you tell me that you've gotten sick three out of four times, yet you've eaten there 12 times. Could you please explain those times that you did not feel sick and how you felt after? Um, you know, the other times I, I didn't eat a burrito, made a nice salad, felt good about my, myself. I felt good and didn't feel sick from that big juicy burrito they still serve. After going through many of our classmates, I have decided to interview Nico Ludwig, a lover of burritos. Are you familiar with the recent breakouts of E. coli due to Chipotle nationwide? Yeah, nationwide, yes. Are you familiar with the recent outbreaks due to Chipotle's in Boise? In, in Boise? Yes. Boise, Idaho. Yeah, we're trying to get down to the bottom of this. Um, how often do you eat Chipotle? Maybe three or four times a week. And do you get the steak burritos? I, I had that yesterday. Okay, um, how did you feel after you consumed the steak burrito? I felt a little bit bloated, if I must say. Bloated? Hmm. Hello, so my name is Jackson Dingle, and I'm assisting my colleague um, Scott Kalinsky on his search for truth involving the Chipotle epidemic. In a recent study involving patients who contracted E. coli, 23 out of the 25 tested had reported going to a Chipotle just days before they started seeing signs of E. coli. All right, Nate, I'm just gonna ask you a few questions. Um, how have your past experiences been with Chipotles? In Boise? Um, you know, I usually go to Chipotle by the village and I usually go there about five times a week, sometimes more, it depends how I want to go on the weekend, but every day after school. And I have a best friend who works at Chipotle in the village and um, I've never really been dissatisfied with a steak burrito from Chipotle. So have you heard about the recent E. coli outbreaks with Chipotle? Um, you know, I have, but I wouldn't really consider it nationwide. The only outbreak that I've heard of of E. coli was in the Denver store, which is the first Chipotle ever. And I know that the only reason why there was an E. coli outbreak is because the food that they use is all natural and they don't freeze it, it's refrigerated and it's using no preservatives, so it's like more healthy. So I'm fine with that. So, are you worried about there being an E. coli outbreak in the Boise stores? Um, not really. Next, my team decided to investigate if anyone thought that the so-called Chipotle outbreak might have been false. Are you familiar with the nationwide E. coli outbreaks due to Chipotle? No, that's a myth. Really? Yeah, I eat there all the time. Huh. Hmm. Maybe this whole E. coli outbreak 
didn't even happen in the first place. After a little more research, my team and I have found that maybe the Chipotle outbreak may have been caused by something other than Chipotle's food products. After countless hours and interviews, our team has finally came to a conclusion on this E. coli outbreak due to Chipotle's. And our answer is... Find out next week on Serial.